So he's not confirmed, but we'll see what happens, certainly as we see uh, the torch finally underway, the athletes going. And let's just show you the, uh, well, we did have pictures a moment ago, actually, of protesters, but I'll, we'll come back when, when they show us. But obviously, uh, the focus now is on the torch. Apparently the weather's going to be a bit inclement, but they assure us that the propane torch will continue to burn. But Sky's Lisa Holland is, is here with us, certainly watching and waiting to see what happens, Lisa, because the, the IOC and Beijing are insisting that this torch relay around the world will continue come what may. I think we'd have to see something uh, pretty catastrophic way beyond the farce which has uh, dogged the tour so far before they absolutely called a halt to it. Um, but I think they'd have to consider that lives were at risk before they would go that far. As far as the International Olympic Committee is concerned, they will be hoping that Buenos Aires and the Latin American leg of this world tour um, will take uh, the flame carrying into perhaps calmer waters. Now we know that demonstrators have said they will take to the streets but the IOC will be hoping that uh, there won't be anything like the violent scenes which marred <laughs> London and Paris and certainly in anticipation of uh, serious demonstrations in San Francisco um, they will be not uh, planning to take it uh, into some of the kind of farcical situations which we saw in San Francisco, i.e. hiding it from the public um, because they were so concerned about the demonstrators and what the demonstrators would do uh, and the strength of the demonstration, uh, the anti-Chinese demonstrations um, whilst the plane was passing. So um, it's just set off seems to be going uh, reasonably well so far. However, you know, the, the, demonstration, the demonstration movement have said um, that they will uh, line the route. They've promised to carry out what they call non-violent surprise actions. Uh, we don't quite know what that means until this route unfolds um, during the day. However, they have said uh, they will not try to snuff out the flame as, as protesters attempted to do in Paris. That's the official line of the Free Tibet movement. Uh, and indeed, it was the official line of the Free Tibet movement in London and Paris too. And we saw fire extinguishers being used. And yeah, well, what we have to take into consideration is that so there's the official line of the Free Tibet movement who say they only want peaceful protests in line, of course, with the Dalai Lama's position. 